بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آنبل فیڈرل منسٹرس خرم دستگیر خان پروفیسر احسن اقبال ایڈوائزرس اسپیشل اسسٹنٹس لیفٹنٹ جنرل یوسف جمال ڈی جی ایس پی ڈی ڈاکٹر راجا علی رضا چیئرمین پی ای سی میڈم چانگ میڈم پانگ چارج ڈی ایف ایئر ایمبیسی آف چائنا مسٹر یو جان فانگ چیئرمین چائنا نیشنل نیوکلیئر کارپوریشن مسٹر پیان چرکانگ چیف انجینئر چائنا اٹامک انرجی ایجنسی آفیشلس فرام چشما نیوکلیئر پلانٹ آنبل گیسٹ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین السلام علیکم اینڈ اے ویری گڈ ایوننگ ویری گڈ آفٹر نون ترجمہ کریں گے نہیں ضرورت نہیں ہے آئی یو اوکے ود انگلش نو نو آئی ایم آسکنگ مائی چائنیز فرینڈس یو وانٹ ٹرانسلیشن اور اوکے اٹس ریئلی اے گریٹ آنر اینڈ اے پلیجر ٹو بی ہیئر دس آفٹر نون to have this wonderful foundation laying ceremony of Chashma 5 nuclear energy project which is by itself a huge milestone a huge success story and a wonderful symbol of cooperation between two great friends, China and Pakistan. The history of our nuclear energy cooperation between Pakistan and China goes back to 30 years. And I think till date, this mutual cooperation to promote clean, efficient, and comparatively cheaper energy is a great friendship between the two countries and a model for other countries to emulate. I was uh, very happy to see and inaugurate K3 in Karachi a few months ago, which is uh, now operational and is uh, equipped with the most modern technology like C5. Safety arrangements are uh, par excellence and uh, the endorsement came from the uh, head of atomic energy commission in Vienna. Is it in Vienna? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after a pause of uh, many years, CPAC is going to be again in full karai and it goes to the credit of this coalition government and SPD for their hard efforts to conclude this agreement 
of Chashma C5. And our detractors had been running rumor mills, fabricating rumors all around the places that, God forbid, Pakistan is going to default on its sovereign commitments. That, God forbid, our economy will be in shambles. For whatever reason, I am not going into that. We know it very well that we crossed very turbulent waters in the last 15 months. By the grace of God Almighty, not only the uh, risk of potential default has been completely averted through team efforts, untiring efforts of all the components of the government of Pakistan and all other institutions. Day before yesterday, there was an announcement of uh, approval of IMF program by the board. And within 48 hours to 72 hours, around about four and a half billion dollars were deposited in the State Bank of Pakistan by our brotherly countries, Saudi Arabia and UAE, and of course, $1.2 billion from IMF as its first tranche of $3.5 billion. But this is not the complete story. Unless we mention the role of our great and the most trusted friend, China, the story will remain incomplete. In the last three and a half months to four months, Chinese government and the Chinese commercial banks rolled over amounts back to Pakistan to the tune of more than five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. This is not a small contribution by a great friend at a time which was one of the most difficult time Pakistan was facing in its entire history. And I think I find myself short of suitable words to pay my deepest gratitude to President Xi Jinping and his government and the people of China, to my very dear brother, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and my very dear brother, His Royal Highness, the President of UAE, Mohammed bin Zayed, for these very valuable contributions at a very difficult time. And I want to convey to them in all honesty and humility that the nation of Pakistan will never forget these wonderful contributions and favors on their part ever in our history. And today we are here to have this foundation ceremony of this project with a magnitude of 1,200 megawatts of nuclear energy, which is uh, 
its cost is three and a half billion dollars. As in? 3.5 billion dollars and I must say with a sense of sincere understanding and sense of my commendation to the Chinese uh, company's chairman and their uh, associates for not only not increasing the price on the basis of 2017-18, not factoring in average inflation, you can count 8%, 10% annually, but on the request of the government of Pakistan and my request, gave a discount of 30 billion rupees on this project, which is, which is most definitely a very kind gesture from our Chinese friends. And this is friendship. Some of my colleagues advised me that Prime Minister don't ask for a discount because this is not the time. A, because the prices are on the basis of 2018. B, they have not calculated inflation, inflation factor in this. And C, look what China has done for Pakistan under these most difficult circumstances. I said, there are no two opinions about it. Absolutely. But then, this is a deal between two companies, two entities, and two friendly countries. And as long we are transparent, as long we are serious and sincere to each other, as long we are absolutely talking to each other without any ambiguity, they will understand our financial difficulty. And uh, I have no doubt that, let alone any kind of uh, misunderstanding, they'll be willing to handhold Pakistan in this hour of difficulty. And thank you very much, Chairman, for your gesture. This 30 billion discount means a lot to me, it means a lot to my government, to SPD, to Atomic Energy Commission, and to 220 million people of Pakistan. Thank you very much for this favor. I deeply appreciate this. And now this project is going to be completed, hopefully in the next seven to eight years, but in my dictionary, seven to eight years means seven to eight months. I hope and pray to God that uh, SPD and Chinese companies can team their efforts together and uh, reduce this period of uh, insulation. That would be a great favor to the people of Pakistan. Why? Because it is clean. It has no carbon elements. It is cheaper. It is efficient. And that's what the industry and agriculture in this, in this country cry for. And they are clamoring for cheaper energy resources to be competitive, not only in the field of agriculture, industry, and commerce, but in all other walks of life. And as exporters, this becomes a very difficult challenge. So I hope and pray to God that this project will be completed sooner rather than later. And I'd like to once again thank you for inviting me. It's a great honor to be here. And I wish you Godspeed. Pakistan, China, Dosti, Zindabad, long live Pak-China friendship. And Pakistan, Pahindabad. Thank you.